Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 82. Okay, well I have three finished objects to show you, although two of them will have to be pictures because I they were Christmas gifts and they've already been gifted. Okay, so last week I was showing you that I was working on a... Well, I finished the Luigi Amigurumi, and then I wanted to go ahead and do the Mario, and I did finish him, and I, so I was able to gift Mario, Luigi, and then a Toad that I did um, several months back. I went ahead and included that in the set, and I can show you a picture of it. This went to my great niece, who is crazy about Luigi especially and uh, she loved them so I was happy <laughs> anyway here is the whole set with Mario in the middle <laughs> I will have a picture I will put post the picture of this on Instagram and I will all my Instagram which is yarnjoy underscore podcast and I will also post a picture on the Facebook group page okay okay so I got him done and then, uh, and this is a pattern by Linda Potts, and there I will be a link in the description box below of where you can get the pattern. Okay, um, and then I also mentioned last week that I was working on something that is, was not crocheting, but it was a 5D uh, diamond, di <clears throat> diamond painting, <laughs> and um, I finished it and I gifted it. It, was, it went to my mother, and so uh, I wanted to go ahead. I did take a picture of it. It was quite large. I think I, fr I framed it. The frame was 18 inches by 24 inches, so it's pretty big. And it was a little mermaid girl. And there is the picture of the picture <laughs> that I made. And this was a 5D diamond painting, like I was saying. And she really liked it, and so we will be uh, hanging it up for her in her in her house, in her bedroom. So um, that was finished object number two, although it was not crochet related, but I had been working on it for a while, and so I wanted to go ahead and show you because I had I did have a few of the viewers that were asking me to make sure that I showed them the picture when it was done. Okay, now back to crochet. <laughs> I did finish the Jada and Stitches calendar blanket for 2018, so let me show you that. It's quite long. It's it's more it's definitely rectangular instead of square, but here you go. <laughs> Let me see. I can probably hold it this way and you can see it a little bit better. Okay, hold it all up. It's really long. <laughs> I will take a picture of it and uh, all laid out so that way you can see it. I'll post it on my Facebook and Instagram as well. This is the last stitch pattern, which was this pink here. I think it was called Cookies or something like that. And then I had to do a, um, a shell border all the way around. Okay. So anyway, here it is, all finished. Now I made it larger than what she called, what she said. Uh, I just used the increases, the multiples, the increases that she said. No, the multiples, the stitch multiple, <laughs> um, to make it wider. My thought was that this was going to end up being 36 inches square. I thought, well, I would do. Uh, well, actually, it's about 40 inches, I think, wide, that I would do that. And then I thought, well, there's 12 sections. If I did three inches per pattern, for each stitch pattern, it'd be 36 inches, and that would be square. Well, didn't take to, into consideration the divider row, the white here, between each section, so that added length to it. Plus, some of the patterns had certain certain number of row repeats and so you had to um, um, you know finish that repeat to get the, the full pattern and so it, it ended up being quite a bit longer than what I was thinking it's just just really a rectangle I haven't measured it 
but I think it turned out nice. I really like the colors, and I'm, I'm thinking that I will keep this for myself. <laughs> I think it will fit nicely on the back of my chair here because it's rectangular go over the back. Um, anyway, so there it is finished. I used baby yarns for that. It was just scraps that I had of Bernat Softy Baby, I think was the majority of it. I think maybe one color might have been um, Red Heart Baby Stamps or something, but it was all comparable in size and color shade. So um, anyway, finished the, that project, the 2018 calendar blanket for Jada in Stitches. And um, so I'm anxious to see what her 2019 project will be. If she's going to be another, if it will be another year long project or what she plans on doing, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so that's all my finished objects um, that I got finished from last 30, Thursday, last week to this episode. So um, now the only works in progress, I, it was quite a busy week of course because it was Christmas. Hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas that celebrated that or whatever holiday you celebrated. Um, and so it was quite busy. I had people here Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. <laughs> and um, so this, I'll show you the works in progress that I've started. Kind of feel, it felt kind of funny because all the projects I was doing um, led up to or had to do mostly with Christmas gifts. Uh, and so I got them finished. And so it was like, okay, well, now what do I work on? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sure you kind of had that weird, let, not really let down, but kind of like, wow, now I got to start something else, you know? So, um, anyway, I, um, started a couple of new things and I, I also, I, now I have, well, I'll tell you upcoming, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, so works in progress. Now, uh, I have started two prog projects that I've actually started and then I have another one that I'm about to start but I haven't started yet, but I'll let you tell you about it. Okay, I'll, I will tell you about it. <laughs> okay, so, um. The first one is a, um, I would say a gift project, I guess I'd call it that, but it's a gift for me. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing <laughs> is the, and now several months back, Yes, several months back, Angelia of the Little Xenia Patch uh, gifted me a pattern off of my Ravelry wish list. And the name of the pattern, let me find a picture of it so I can show you. And of course, I will put a link in the description box below of where it is. Just a minute, let me find it here. Uh, there. Okay, so it's called the Louisa's Stripe Blank Baby Blanket, but I'm just going to make it larger so it won't be a baby blanket. But anyway, um, she gifted me this pattern. It is a log cabin design pattern, as you can see that there. And um, I had it in my Ravelry library. Like I said, she gifted it to me, and so I hadn't made it yet. And so I thought, well, I'm going to start this. This was kind of like my version of the Christmas Eve cast on, like a lot of the knitters are doing. Um, and so, although it's crochet, in, <clears throat> crochet instead of knitting, and so um, I'm using that pattern. And as you see, it is a log cabin type design, okay, and it calls for five colors. Well, in my ornament, ornament, <laughs> yarn swap that I did with Dana of Tabitha's Treasures, uh, she, get, she gave me five skeins of Red Heart Super Saver yarn, and she uh, kind of organized not organized yeah well the colors she picked out were kind of gradient type tone colors and so I decided since she gave me five skeins that I would use those five colors and make the pattern that Angelia gifted to me okay and so I got started on it um, and so let me show you what I've done so far not a lot <laughs> but uh, I did get started on it I in fact I start actually started on Christmas Day okay so here it is so far, it's quite, it's quite girly, <laughs> and that's fine because it's for me, <laughs> but it's uh, lots of pinks, 
and I will I will tell you the colors here. This is all five of them. I, I'm on this band right here, and I need to finish a little bit of it, and then I will start repeating with this light color in the middle. Okay, so I will tell you these colors. The first color that I'm doing right in the middle is Petal Pink, which is this one. Okay, and then the next color is medium purple which is this and then let's see a b you have them i'll have them all let letters written on them so i can remember see this is c uh so that i remember what color goes next okay so this is pretty in pink right there and then the next one is orchid which is this light purple and then the fifth one is grenadine, which is this kind of hot pink. I have the hook stuck in it. And by the way, I'm using a six millimeter size J hook. The pattern actually calls for an I hook, but uh, I went ahead and, and I, because I believe that it, the yarn I'm using is a little bit, I wouldn't say bulkier. Uh, I think it's because it calls for worsted weight yarn, I think. But I think this is a little chunkier worsted, heavier worsted. I don't know. So I went up a hook size. Um, so anyway, that's the colors I'm using. And that's what I've done so far. And as you see, I've got, well, I don't know if you see, but I've got little tails of each section still. And so I will, um, now that I've done five, all one band of each of the five colors, I'm gonna go back and weave in the ends, and so I don't let it get too far <laughs> without weaving in the ends. And I am using, as you see, there's stitch markers here and there. I'm using stitch markers that Dana gave me in the swap. Awesome, okay. Works in progress number two is in my Wizard of Oz tote. Let me show you that. I haven't showed it to you in a while, but it is the Wizard of Oz tote. See? <laughs> Okay, I did make this. It's been a while, but I, I've showed it to you before. Okay, so what this is, is an amigurumi doll. I think it's called amigurumi doll or Amy doll. I'm not sure, but it's by, the pattern is by Grace and Yarn. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the Louisa Stripe Blanket is from Ellen Elizabeth is the designer. Okay, now the amigurumi doll. Uh, I've only started making her legs. <laughs> uh, I was wanting to get, you know, as, as if you've seen my videos before, you know, I like to have a variety of different types of projects going on. And since this Louisa Stripes blanket, that's a blanket. And so I decided to, I wanted to have another amigurumi project. And so I decided to start this doll because I think she's really pretty. And if she turns out good, <laughs> then uh, I will, I, I have somebody in mind to give it to, I think. But anyway, I'm going to show you a picture of her since I've only done her legs and that's it. Anyway, here she is. There. Isn't she cute? I really like her hair. Uh, there was comments that other people said that the way the hair is done is very is 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 very good or very neat ways to do it. And so uh, I'm anxious to see how that works. But anyway, the colors I picked out uh, for her skin color, I'm using Vanish Choice Fisherman. Okay, and for and so as you see, I've got one leg done and you know got one leg done and i'm working on the second leg now the her shirt i'm going to do in karen simply soft in the colorway grape that one okay and for her little skirt and it's all attached um, the clothes are part of the pattern you know it's not where you can remove the clothes uh, the skirt i'm going to do in red heart gumdrop now this was something i got on sale i got two skeins of it and i hadn't figured out what i wanted to use but i really like the color in it as you can see it's got a per it's got purple in it and so i thought it would go good with this red heart grape i mean no simply soft karen simply soft grape okay see so this has got multi colors in it as you see and it is called a uh, smoothie and it's red heart gumdrop Okay, and they're both uh, number four weight yarn, so I think that'd be cute together. 
so that will be her skirt and her top. And then her hair, I'm going to do, I don't have it in the, in, I don't ha have it over there. But anyway, it's a brown color. And in fact, it's the brown that I used for the lion's mane. And it is called Chocolate. And uh, it is a big twist, which is put up by Joann's. And it's a big twist yarn. Um, big twist. I think it's the value yarn. I can't remember. I think it's big big twist value. But anyway, the color is chocolate. And I think it, let me, let me reach it right quick. <laughs> Here I am talking about it, not showing you. Um, yep, I found it. It's this one. See? It's chocolate. Anyway, I think it's going to look really cute. Uh, or at least I hope so. Uh, now, she uses in the pattern, let me zoom up on her face, um, safety eyes, like 12 millimeter safety eyes. And normally I would do that. But since this is going to be possibly for a young child, I'm not going to do that. She has a variation of the pattern that you can use. Um, she tells you how you can... Uh, well, you use black and you like crochet a circle and, and you uh, stitch on the eyes. <laughs> and so I think I'm going to do that, but I will put the little eyelashes on because I think that's super cute. Okay, so that's my amigurumi project. And um, so that's all I have that I've actually worked on, you know, works in progress. Because like I said, my projects that I was working on that was Christmas gifts, I finished them. <laughs> now, not that I don't have any works, more works in progress. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got a works in progress wall right over here. I don't know if you ever saw it uh, in well, my room tour that I did several months ago. Uh, it is full of, of works in progress or whips that have been uh, in hibernation. <laughs> and so I am going to start pulling out some of those and working on those. Um, of course, that's going to be kind of a what I'm going to try to do in this upcoming year. Um, so uh, you will be seeing a few things being pulled out that maybe you haven't seen in a long time. But I also have a few that I'm going to go ahead and frog because I'm not feeling it anymore. And I'd rather use the yarn for something else. So <sighs> anyway, I've already started that. Let me show you my big pile of spaghetti <laughs> where I frog something <laughs> and so uh, I want to reuse this some of it is small pieces I'm going to be putting into my um, what do you call this magic magic ball scrap ball and I'm going to be doing a cute amigurumi probably I think a teddy bear out of this I think it's going to be super cute I think anyway uh, I've talked about that before I just never have I still haven't done anything with it I'm just still adding to it so um, anyway works in progress that's it so okay so upcoming now upcoming uh, I do have one more crochet along item for 2018 that I have not finished yet and the last part is out haven't done it yet and that is the harmony sample stitch blanket Harmony's sampler blanket <laughs> by Sarah Satch. Uh, it'll crochet along for this year of 2018. And so I still, she has put out the last, the December section of the blanket. I haven't done it yet because Christmas. <laughs> and so um, this, I'm going to pull out that and I'm going to go ahead and do that in just a couple of days. I want to get it done before the first. So I will do that. And so I will be able to show you that. Now, although... Okay, so I think I talk, mentioned it last week, I guess, but uh, she has the December section out. She does not have the border out uh, because she said that she was going to have the border section in January, plus talk about the crochet along that she's going to be doing starting in January. So since it's a sampler and it's scrappy blanket, I'm kind of thinking that I want to finish, finish it up and have it finished. For the end, you know, before the first of the year, first of the year by the end, you know, to finish this year out. <laughs> so I think I may do that. Um, Jada and Stitches, she did a kind of a kind of a granny stitch type sort of blank edging, sort of. It was double crochets in groups of three. But anyway, um, 
I might just do that to finish up. I will do uh, Sarah Satch's uh, December section on the blanket, and then I may just put an, a border on there and, and not wait until her border comes out. Um, I think I, I think I really want to do that because I want to finish it and get it finished off. Okay, so I will be working on that and finishing it next week and be finished object. Okay, so now the only other thing is this is what I was telling you about. I, since I like to have a variety of different projects and I have a blanket now going and I have an amigurumi, the doll, doing that. Okay, so I wanted to pick out another project. So what I decided to do was... Um, this is a tapestry crochet project. I thought it'd be something a little different. Um, I did do a tapestry. What did I do that was tapestry? Oh, the shark, the shark pillow. It was kind of like a tapestry type crochet, sort of, sort of, because you had to carry the bobbins. You had floats and that sort of thing. But anyway, so this is called the, I think it's called the Dancing Sheep Basket, and I found it on Ravelry. It's a free pattern. I thought it was super cute, and I thought that I could use it to... I have this big bag. I'll show you. <laughs> right here. Of the bobbins from my corner to corner, all the little jumbo clothespins. And so I thought that this is this is kind of a tall pro, tall basket and I thought I could keep them in that um, if not if it's if it's not turning out big enough or tall enough um, then that's fine I will just um, use it as a project tote because I think it's super cute now since I haven't showed it to you and I keep talking about it <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, here is the picture oh see it it's sheep it's like a sheep design and it goes all the way around the bag and it does have handles at the top. There it is, see? Super cute. I just thought it was so cute, those little sheep. And so I'm gonna be doing this. This is a pattern by Divine Debris. I think that's how you say it, yeah? <laughs> and so I'm gonna be starting that soon. I just need to pick my colors out. I haven't decided on my colors, but of course I'm gonna be using colors that I have out of my cabinet over there <laughs> so so I want to start that so that is an upcoming whip <laughs> okay now also upcoming will be my goals videos okay so I need to do my last quarter goal video for 2018 see how I finished off the year see what goals I met what goals I didn't meet there's a couple I didn't meet uh, so, uh, but I'll let you know about them. <laughs> and then I also have been working on what I want to set for goals for 2019. Um, I, I was kind of bouncing back and forth. Uh, last week I did, I think it was last week, right? I did a live stream. It was super fun and I definitely want to keep doing those. It's fun. I enjoyed chatting with you. Uh, but um, in there, I was talking about some, what I wanted to do. Somebody asked me if I was going to do some sort of a Christmas project like I did this past year with the Christmas character blanket where I did a section each month until I got up to Christmas. Well, uh, there is a pattern for a nativity set that has all the little characters and some animals that goes in the set and I thought that, and it was like amigurumi type and uh, I got the patterns for them and I thought well there's plenty of items I could divide up by 12 and do something each month and so I had the set uh, but I have some other goals I want to do as well and so I, I don't want to um, put that much pressure on myself <laughs> uh, I want to do it but I don't think I'm going to give myself a timeline for it. So, um, but that will probably be something I will work on throughout the year. Um, I just not, it's not going to be that structured though. Uh, but I have other goals. I have goals I want to talk to you about. And, uh, so that is upcoming video. I will have, so that will probably be two videos. So that way they're not super long, <laughs> but one of them, I think, well, one of them will be summing up 2018 goals and the other one would be the upcoming 2019 goals 
So anyway, those videos will be up, uh, upcoming, and as well as um, I really would like to do li the live streaming um, on a more regular basis. I don't know, haven't decided exactly uh, time schedule, but I will definitely be letting you know. Okay, so that's it really <laughs> uh, I've been working here in my craft room on my Facebook page or group page I posted a before picture I was brave <laughs> um, and um, but I had a lot of people kind of commiserating with me saying oh mine looks like that too oh my goodness you know and so um, just show you that I am not as organized as some people think or you know um, ugh. This is like Santa's workshop just kind of blew up in here. <laughs> and so I've really been working on getting this place straightened out. Uh, I know it doesn't look too bad back here, but if you saw over here, <laughs> um, it'd be, it was something else. But it's getting a lot better. I did post a before picture to keep myself accountable. <laughs> and then I posted um, a, I wouldn't call it an after picture. I would just call it a better <laughs> picture. And so I've been working on it a little bit in here today, but I've also been frogging some stuff and working with the yarn uh, besides getting things put up. So it's kind of drying out and taking a little longer than what I was thinking, but it's definitely looking a whole lot better. I was doing that. I really wanted to get it cleared out to get, get everything, my mind cleared <laughs> uh, and get into these new works in progress. So that's why I haven't, I've only got a couple of things that I've worked on. Okay, so, uh, but next week should be much more interesting, I think, <laughs> of the things I can show you. Okay, but I, I do want to thank my subscribers. Uh, my subscription number is getting really close to 2,500. I think I've got maybe 50 more or something like that. And so when I reach the 2,500 mark, I will be doing a 2,500 subscriber giveaway. And it will more than likely be another Ravelry pattern pack. Um, I, I like to do those because that way people can pick out what they want to, the patterns that they like and want. So um, I will be doing that. I think that's probably what I'll be doing. So anyway, uh, that'll be upcoming it, really pretty soon because like I said, I've almost gotten to 2,500. So if you haven't subscribed, please do and let's get those numbers up to 2,500 so we can do the giveaway. Uh, and um, I'm hoping you like the video. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And um, I thank you so much for those that have subscribed to me. And uh, like I said, if you haven't, please do. I make weekly videos showing you my progress of my projects that I'm doing and the things that I've finished. And I've put extra videos here and there. Uh, I've done I've done tutorials, although I haven't done a tutorial in a while. I've been maybe looking for an idea for one. But anyway, um, and I've been doing other uh, extra videos here and there. I did a birthday series back in November that uh, I think was fun and everybody seemed to enjoy. Uh, so anyway, come along and, and subscribe and follow me here and also follow me on my Instagram page. It's it's uh, yarnjoy underscore podcast and my Facebook book group is yarnjoy podcast, two words. Uh, so come on over and join and post the pics pictures, pics, <laughs> of what you're working on so then I can see what you're working on because I love to uh, share um, projects and things with you, what I'm doing, but I also love to see what you're doing. Um, and I like it that we can help each other give suggestions or ideas or just kudos and say, great, that's an awesome job. You did a great, great job on your project. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. I'm going to go. I'm just kind of rambling here. Um, but we will see you in, a, well, yeah, because New Year's is, is next week. And so I'm going to get these goals videos done. So we'll see you in just a few days then. And everybody have a wonderful new year. And I hope everybody has lots of prosperity and joy and he good health in this upcoming year. So we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.